And there's an irony here, I think, with the left and with the Democrat side of it, who tend to be very emboldened talking about minority elements of the community and always saying that they have some kind of suffering attached to them. And yet rampant, hardcore drug addiction and drug use appears to be disproportionately affecting those same minority communities. No matter how you slice the data, that is almost always the case. When you look at at the micro level or the macro level, the disproportionate number of victims are coming from first the black community, then the Hispanic community. That's what's the the, that's what the data says. So Mm. they're going to have to spare me all this nonsense about how the criminal justice system disproportionately impacts people of color. Your policies are disproportionately killing people of color. Why do you think they ignore that? They ignore that because they're driven by an ideological agenda that truly has them blinded to the results. I think we're generally talking about two groups of people. Number one, the ones who can never, ever, ever see what's happening because they're so blinded. They're so married to this Mm -hmm. ideological position. They've convinced themselves that they are saving society, saving lives, and it's caused them to just be delusional. The other hand, you've got people who I think say to themselves, they justify the data by saying, okay, short-term pain long-term gain that if we just continue to go down this path for a little bit longer yes we're going to have some suffering but at the end of the day we're going to see that utopian society or that beneficial Mm. society we're not going to get to that point i I, history has shown us we're not going to get to that point has president biden emboldened this president biden hasn't done enough to stop it i don't know if i would say he's emboldening it now i think early on when he was running he was kind of dancing with the defund movement which really started the the ball rolling on all of this stuff he has clearly pushed back against that but not loud enough he's not doing anything within the party to push aside these radical voices that have been pursuing these policies amplifying the talking points and then ultimately seeing some legislative wins and unless he's going to lead there he's not doing enough 